What's going on YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be and welcome back to Astro Chronicles in today's video. Ladies and gentlemen, today is the day Astro Chronicles has now officially hit global launch. Now the reason why I say it that way is because I've actually already played and covered this game during the Android soft launch earlier this month, um, but I was still in the process of re-rolling. I wasn't really satisfied with my team and the game development studio decided, hey, you know what? We're gonna turn off new account creation in anticipation of global launch. And I wasn't really ready with my team yet, so I was like, you know what? Screw Android soft launch. I'm just gonna wait until the global launch hits, re-roll then, and start with the rest of everyone else. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, global launch. However, I... I was really burned out on the re-roll thing. Like I didn't want to re-roll and replay the same 20 minutes of gameplay over and over and over again. So I was like, screw it. Whatever team I get is what I'm gonna stick with. And you know what? Low key, middle key, high key. I'm really mad at past FG for doing that to me. Past FG, you're an idiot. Why'd you do that? Cause I'm just as unhappy with my team right now. But like I said, I don't really want to replay the first 20 minutes of gameplay over and over again. I want to see what else this game has to offer. So you know what? I'm just going to stick with this team and just kind of move forward. So here's what I have. Um, my main character, as you guys can see, she is a warrior right now. Um, I have made Beta as my healer. Now you can actually select her on your second day of logging into the game. Um, you can actually do a selector ticket and select between a, a tank, a healer, a DPS, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I decided to go with her because she's probably one of the better um, dedicated pure healers in the game. So um, be on the lookout for her on your second day login. Now I know some of you guys out there are listening real hard. You're like, wait a minute, FG. Didn't you say today was global launch? How do you have a second day login selector ticket on the first day of global launch. All right, check it out, check it out, check it out. Come a little closer, give you a little FG pro tip, all right? So, if you guys were playing the game earlier enough in the morning, the game actually reset today at 4 p.m. Central Time. So if you're playing early in the morning, you could have actually pulled in two day logins in one day, ladies and gentlemen, yes, FG pro tip. Now, I know you're still wondering, wait a minute, how does that help anyone? You can't, it's not like you can just recreate that FG. I know, I'm just sharing. So there you go. Um, so me Beta, um, she's the healer that I'm gonna decide, that I decided to go for. Um, as far as my tank is concerned, I went with H10. Um, she is the tank that you get for free via the story, nothing too special. Um, but as you guys can see, she's an R rarity and she's actually a three star. So as you get duplicates in the game, you can actually awaken characters. So she's a three star, so she's, you know, holding her own even though she's just a rare um my dps archer here her name is jen and as you guys can see she's an sr one star so obviously you know being able to pull off an ssr four star is probably like you know or ssr five star is like the peak of strength in the game um but i do think that ours like with a lot of awakenings are still useful um h10 is actually a pretty decent tank so i'm gonna roll with her a little bit longer um and then Here's another mate. I'm trying to go for a full mate team here as well. Um, no stars on that one. So um, yeah, that's what I decided to go for. Um, I did pull the SSR f via the free pulls that you get. Um, once you complete chapter two, the game will give you three 10 pulls, but only one of those 10 pulls is a guaranteed SSR. Why? Like, I don't understand that. Why can't they all three of those pools have a guaranteed SSR in each one of them? But it's really weird. Three 10 pools, only one of them guarantees an SSR. Bizarre. I got this guy. I wasn't happy. <laughs> I really wasn't happy. It's a waste of an SSR in my account. Why didn't I just re-roll and play again? I don't know. Don't ask FG these things. I'm just tired. I just want to play the game. I just want to enjoy myself. So this is my team right here, ladies and gentlemen. So let's jump in and kind of talk about some of the things that I talked about in my first video. The number one thing, ladies and gentlemen, that I was the most kind of put off on was the fact that this game's <sighs> combat lag the slowdown, the frames per second were like negative one during combat. And I'm pleased to say, look at this, no slowdown in combat. So in my last video, I was actually at the lowest graphic settings, the absolute lowest graphic settings, and I was still getting like negative two frames. Now here in this video, I have all the graphic settings maxed out. And as you guys can see, there's absolutely no slowdown whatsoever. Thank you for knocking that out during the, um, the little lag time in between soft launch closing and global launch opening up. They actually went in and fixed some things. Shout out to the development team, good on you. 
Um, and this is actually the same exact combat scenario that I showed in my first video. So you can kind of do a direct side-by-side -side comparison to see that, yes, they dramatically have fixed um, combat lag in the game here. So there you go. Now, as far as combat is concerned as a whole, it's still kind of like, it's still a visual mess a little bit. You know, the sprites routinely are right on top of each other, just throwing their abilities all over the place. So even if you have like a favorite SSR character that you pulled, chances are that SSR character is just gonna be standing on top of someone else. You're barely gonna be able to see them during with all like the pyrotechnics going on. So kind of, you know, it, it, to, to each his own. I know some people that's not really gonna bother them, but uh, I kind of, have this same beef against this game and the same beef I had against Final Blade. I just kind of feel like when you do combat in this sense, where you have 2D sprites on top of each other, it just becomes very cluttered. And like I said, it becomes like a visual mess once everyone starts using their abilities and things like that. Like, look at my two little cute maid chicks right over here, right on top of each other. I can't see nothing. What are y'all doing back there? Yeah, freaks. I don't know what's going on here. Like, you, you can kind of see that they, their default is being on top of each other. Like, that is their default. So, I don't know. But here we are, fighting a little boss encounter. This is the main reason why I just didn't want to... I didn't want to, like, continue to start over, over and over and over again. I want to see some of the bigger boss encounters. I want to see some of the big, you know, big raid bosses and things of that nature. I want to do actual PvP and stuff like that. So, kind of bored with re-rolling. Want to actually play the game. Here we go. Can I actually... Yes. Good job. Hopefully. My main character, Warrior DPS here, trying her best to hold on. 34 life bars left. I got 42 seconds. FG is not strong enough to defeat this encounter, unfortunately. Um, but it was a good opportunity to show you what combat looks like now, now that there is no lag anymore, ladies and gentlemen. So that is that. A little purple ooze oozing out of this guy for whatever reason. 25 seconds left. Yeah, we're screwed. There's no way we're going to get 22 life bars down unless something... No. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, maybe maybe my team will have an enrage mechanic. Like, my team will have enrage and just kind of blow through this boss. Nope, not quite. So I'll come back to this uh, stage a little bit later in the day to try to beat this, this little encounter. Four more seconds. We might as well just leave. <laughs> we'll just leave that. I don't think if you, like, leave like that, I don't think you actually lose your, uh, your turns here. No, you're actually good. So you can go in here, lose test it out, see what you need to improve on, and you actually don't lose your remaining turns here. You can still go back in there and defeat it later on once you can. So that is that. Um, so combat definitely improved. So that is that, ladies and gentlemen. I think what we want to do to kind of end this video off, because like I said, I've already pretty much covered the game already. Uh, I'm going to jump in here and do a full multi-summon here and show you what the summoning animation looks like. I'm, I'm man, do I need to re-roll? <laughs> Let's see what happens. I got two SRs here. Everything else is just rares. So let's see if we get some good dupes. There's Carly there. There's a new Cynthia. Millie, who I do like. Wait, what? Hey, I've been duped. You know exactly how I got duped there. <laughs> oh, hey. Look at that. <laughs> Be I, I'm, I'm trying to say it right. It's like Bahamut. But it's like Bahamiot, like she's a cat. She's not a dragon, like Final Fantasy. Oh, hey, it's got two SRs here. Um, really good tank here. I wonder, do I want to drop H10 and use her instead? I think I want to, because I don't want to be like default Fortnite skin like the rest of the world. So I think I actually am, even though, let's, let's actually do a test here. I'm actually gonna do a test. 14, 547, that's my power right now. This is the power with H10 as my tank. Let us see, ladies and gentlemen, if I decide to go for an SR tank with no stars, do I actually have more power? Ooh, you're a tank too, huh? I didn't know that. Where's my girl at? Where's my little cute cat chick? Way up here. All right. Replace. Um, let's go ahead and level her up first and foremost. And this will kind of show you the UI and all the process it takes to actually level up characters in the game. Ah, oh, this is going to throw off my test a little bit. I can't actually make her level 23. That's going to throw the test off just a little bit. Quick equip. And we also need to go in here to her stats. Set her little, little fairies on her. There's all types of different ways to level up your characters in this game. Quite a bit, actually. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo, and then mastery as well. Oh, I don't... Ah, this test is a failure. <laughs> 
I don't have the materials to upper mastery. Um, so it was like 14. Yeah, I took a big dramatic drop in power right here. So do keep that in mind. Um, don't necessarily go for the highest rarity in the game. Um, you might be better off just selecting characters that you actually have more dupes on. So for example, if I take this girl right here, I can just hit Awakening, boom, very simple. Doesn't cost you any currency whatsoever. As long as you have the dupe, you can go ahead and awaken. And as you guys can see, Intelligence, Physical, Crit, AMR, I don't know what that is, um, Armor. <laughs> Thanks, good job, FG. You ever played an RPG before? Apparently not. Resistance, got that. <laughs> um, so you might wanna just take characters you have the most dupes of. Because that's probably where you're going to get the most of your power there, which is cool. I do like, you know, when games give you a reason to use characters that are not maxed out SSRs, ultra rares, and things of that nature. Uh, more games need to do that. And not make the SSRs that you get 100% useless just because you only have one copy of it. I'm looking at you, Overhit. <laughs> so in this game, if you do get an SSR, you can still level them up. You can still power them up and use them. Um, but it does look as if... Um, a lower rarity character with more dupes is probably going to be a better option, but I wasn't able to fully test that in this video, unfortunately. I do like Millie, though. I just like her. just like her look. She's like a mechanic. Alright. That is that there. And then, I think I got everyone here. And then Winnie here. Oh, I can't do that here. So once you get to... To go to two star to three stars, you need two duplicates of that character in order to awaken them again. Um, but I think I grabbed everyone, so. All right, so uh, that will do it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, once again, my name is FG3000. I'm about to jump over here to the secret realm here. See if I can't beat floor 11 with my tank. <laughs> She's cute though. I might just use her anyway. I'm gonna take that power hit and just use her anyway. We'll see. We'll see if I can actually beat this. 50 life bars? Probably not. <laughs> it's not looking good. Using, uh, basically, a stick with a cat paw, then. I don't know what that cat paw is made out of, but whatever. All right, here's the actual boss itself. And this is, like, like I said, the main reason why I want to keep playing this game. Because I have a feeling that these characters and these little creatures that you see here are going to get really big and really intricate a little bit later on in the game. I want to see a Hydra boss that's, like, this big. So, no more, man. I, I can't be can't be just re-rolling all the time. I feel like eventually my rolls are just going to even out anyway, right? I'm, I'm actually trying to convince myself. <laughs> I'm not trying to convince you guys. I'm trying to convince myself. I feel like if I do enough rolls, everything's just going to even itself out, you know? So let, let's just keep playing FG. Play the game. Keep on summoning. You'll be fine. A month from now, are you really going to care about what you re-rolled on day one? Exactly, FG. You're right, FG. I know I'm right, FG. <laughs> Apparently, I've lost my mind. All right. Oh, yeah, by the way, I feel like this game, I'm glad it didn't show the one that it shows. That sounds very vague, but stick with me. Um, I kind of have a feeling like this is one of the... Oh, I did show it. Ah! <laughs> uh, uncensored. Uncensored gotcha, ladies and gentlemen. Not all the time. We, we Very often, when games hit the U.S., global launch, they're always censored. I'm here to tell you, game don't look censored <laughs> from my eyeballs. You saw what I saw. <laughs> and hopefully, hopefully YouTube didn't see what we saw. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. All right, guys, I am out. Thank you uh, so much for watching. And I will see you guys in another video for Astro Chronicles a little bit later. Once I get a little bit more powerful, I do want to show off some of the other gameplay modes that I wasn't able to show off in either one of these videos. Um, now that I actually have a roster that I semi-care about, um, we're going to go ahead and keep on moving up and see what happens towards the end game. So until then... My name is FG3000. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.